Hi, this is Rob Grady with Insight Realty Group here with Ron Matasio, who is a local CPA. And this is a first um, in a series of interviews that we're going to conduct with local businesses. Hopefully this provides some great information for folks here in West Roxbury, Roslindale, and neighboring communities. To get started, I think a great way to begin is to talk a little bit about um, profit off a of sale of real estate, which is one of the things we're always trying to accomplish. And there's different kinds of property. There's investment sale and there's residential sale. Could you talk a little bit, Ron, about the distinction in terms of how the IRS takes a look at those? Sure. Uh, let's start with the easy one. Residential sales, uh, generally speaking, a joint couple has the ability to defer up to half million dollars of profit on residential sale. Prior to 1997, the rules were different and you had to reinvest the profit in a house that cost more than what you sold the other one for, which required a lot of specified bookkeeping. That theory, for some reason, is still out there. So when people sell their property, investment property, they always ask me, oh, I can defer the gain if I buy another property. And the answer is no. Investment property, when you buy it, you hold it as an investment. When you sell it as a capital gain. Simple as that. There's no other way to do it. You can do a 1031 exchange, which allows you to defer the profit. But the problem with an exchange is that it defers the profit, but it leaves you in the same position you were after the fact as you were before. So let's say you had a piece of property that had an inherent $100,000 gain in it. When you sell that property, that gain remained to the new property. It doesn't go away. So when you ultimately sell the new investment property, you're going to have a $100,000 gain plus any more appreciation you may have incurred in it. So you may actually shoot yourself in the foot by doing the deferral. The big thing about the residential is that the half million dollar exclusion for a joint couple, there are some other rules. You have to hold up more than two years. There are some percent exclusions, but for basically half million dollar exclusion for joint couples, 250 for singles. So that would give you the ability to defer a gain on your house. If you bought it for 300000 and sold for 500000 you're single. That $200,000 gain, full excluded because you get two fifty. If you buy the same house for 300000 and sell for six fifty or seven fifty, your gain is, say, four fifty. If you're married, you have a half million dollar exclusion, no gain. Terrific. I well, appreciate that, Ron.